Hey everyone, this is Metroid Metal FPS back with another unboxing for you guys. This time of Icon's first full length album, their debut album, Welcome Back. Now, I had just heard about this group back when they debuted, hadn't known anything else about them beforehand. I believe they had existed, so to speak, since 2013 and were possibly, say, formed back then. Not 100% sure on that, I may be wrong on my facts there. But um, when I did find about out about them here, I really liked what they put out. I liked all the tracks that they put out in this album. I think they had a sort of a redo remix of Rhythm Todd, the rock version. I liked all the tracks that they put out. I think um, it was about seven of them had a music video, so obviously YG knew how to promote them, and they did quite a good job of it. I'd say Dumb and Dumber was my favorite of the upbeat tracks, just because of the goofy, having fun kind of good naturedness they had there. And um, I'd say, what was it, Iria Nora, I believe, or Anthem, that song, had to be my favorite of the more gruff kind of songs. It just, I wouldn't even call it gruff necessarily, but it was just a really nice track. I think uh, Bobby would probably be my favorite with his uh, gruff rapping voice and his, uh, I guess you'd say over-exaggerated faces he makes, just the funny kind of goofball faces and just the hilarious attitude he likes to have. I think he's a really good part of the group. In my opinion, I'd say he's my favorite just because of his persona overall. I think he does a really good job and just seems to enjoy what he do does too. But um, let's not delay it too much longer. Let's get to the unboxing first. I did get this from Crazy K-Pop, and they did include some freebies this time, which is a really nice little thing they do. They had some shampoo and a uh, steam cream shea butter. It's a sample. It's something they do that's a cosmetic sample they'll add with their album sometimes in shipments. Also, they included some photo cards, which are double-sided. They do this sometimes as well. And this is of Icon, which is appropriate considering that I got that album in this order. I believe that's another one of them. I also got one of, I believe this is Sohyun here. And then Jium. And then I think I got, this would be Hyona naturally. And this is the same one, so they accidentally gave me a double, but that's fine. Very nice though, it's really nice how they add these little extras just to make the buying experience something a little bit different from everything else. I do think some other places also add the cards. I don't know, however, if they add things such as the cosmetic samples, which to most people, I don't know if they really need that, but frankly speaking, I think it's really nice that they do that anyways. And I actually do get some use out of it. It's nice every once in a while. But um, yeah, really nice way to set themselves apart from the competition, and I think it's a really nice little thing they do. Now to start this off, we have a plastic slip cover, which I actually really like plastic slip covers. I think they're always nice. And they have their uh, hard, sort of thin cardboard kind of build for the album. With the glossed letter, if I can get this to focus in better for you. Might take a second. Let me try it over here. Alright, since it's being a little odd, here's the front of the album. Very interesting how they have some places indented with a little bit of a glittering scent there. Very shiny as you can see the reflection of most of my room. And also holding this out on the back we have the track list. Let's hope I can get this to zoom in better. Alright, Dumb and Dumber, Weto, What's Wrong, I Miss You So Bad, Rhythm Ta, Anthem, Apology, Airplane, My Type, Today, Welcome Back, and Rhythm Ta's Remix, the rock version. And the group. I think these guys are awesome. I really like their kind of just having fun, goofing around attitude. I think it's nice to see that. Since I was get, able to get the back to zoom in, I think I should be able to get these sides as well. It's been a real stubborn piece of work today. My apologies on that. Let's get to the rest of the album. Now, let me take this out of the slipcase. As I believe we have a set of photo cards similar to 4 Minutes Volume Up and the recent one, Act 7. 
already showed that. Let's show the back. There we go. Made out of paper. And then we have the photo cards. Well, let's get started. And they do have notes on the back, so I would not call them double-sided. Jin Huan. Also, just with the notes on the back. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And not really bother to show the note side just because that's all it is and it's blank. And we have my favorite, my bias, I guess you'd say, Bobby. Yun Xiong. I believe that's Jun Rui. I may be incorrect on that. John Wu and the group sorry about that little interruption there we have BI Bobby once again Jun Wei Don Kelp Sean Wu again. And the group. Alrighty, and that about sums it up. Let me pause for a second while I put that back in the slipcase. Alright, we're back, and now it's on to the photo book. Let me leave the rest out over here. And here we go, a glossy front page. B.I. Bobby and I believe Dong Hyuk on the front cover. I may be incorrect. I'm only familiar with B.I. and Bobby at this moment. My apologies on that. And Chan Hu and Jun Hei are pretty easy to tell apart as well. Then I believe we have the track list once again. Very glittery as well. You can see the reflection once again. Blank pages here. Let's see if I can get this to zoom. There we go. Track list again with BI over here. And Dumb and Dumbers, lyrics and credits. Bobby. And I believe this is the front cover. No, I'm incorrect. It's a different, it's a variation of the three. Nice black and white photos. I think it's a very classy choice. And then Wait Do, or What's Wrong's lyrics and credits. Jun Hui. Another one of four of the members. I believe also a variation of the back cover. I may be incorrect on that. There we go. I like how they always have some goofy photos on there, just having fun. And I Miss You So Bad's lyrics and credits. Rhythm Taz lyrics and credits. B.I. Well, let me pause for a second. Alright, and we're back. Sorry about that delay. And on to the next page. The whole group. And we're on a color photos. And track five's Anthem from B.I. and Bobby. Bobby on the side over there. B.I. Track number six. Lyrics and credits of Apology. John Woo. And track seven's lyrics and credits, Airplane. Track 8's my type, lyrics and credits, 
Let me double check. I don't think I said the name of the seventh one. Airplane. Yun Hyung. Whole group once again. Really nice photographs in here. And Trex 9's lyric and credits today. Jin Huang. And B.I. and Bobby once again. Really like that duel. Number 10, welcome back. Lyrics and credits. Jun Hui on the side. And the credits for Rhythm Ties Remix. And the credits. More blank page. And that's it. And now we're on to this little advertisement they left in here. Very nice. And I believe our final set over here is their, uh, similar to their welcome pack in their debut mini album. Now I'll quickly show you the disc. It's on a foam spindle. Very nice. And it can even reflect on my little platform. That shiny. Nice glossy finish here. And I believe it has this little tape part here that I want to try and not rip. Oh, that's nice. Came off easier than I thought. I believe this is where you get the random member photo cards and I think stickers as well. So we'll see who I got. I'd be hoping for B.I. or Bobby. Bobby being my favorite. Let's see who we get. I believe you get three Polaroids, a photo card, and stickers of that member. I'm going to start with the photo card. Oh, that is too awesome. I got Bobby. Got Guyun's photo card in my 4-Minute X7. And now I got Bobby. Two biases in a row. That's pretty awesome. Alright, and then I have the Polaroids. This is the red version. So I believe they might be different in the green. That's really nice. And then I believe the stickers as well. Also glistening with a gloss finish, enough to reflect things in the background. Wow, that's a really nice album overall. They added a lot to it. A lot of little extras. The three Polaroids as well as a photo card. Stickers are a nice bonus as well. But three Polaroids. I gotta say, that's definitely a step up from them in terms of their promotion. That's really awesome to see that coming from YG. And uh, overall... I'd say I'm impressed with what they did, and that's really nice to see that I got my bias as well. Now I'm going to take a minute to pack it all up, and we'll conclude this unboxing. Alright, and we're back. Sorry about that cut. Now I have to say, that was really nice of them to include some extras like they did this time again. With the photo cards, with the cosmetic samples. Very nice of Crazy K-pop to do that once again. I'm going to have a link in the description for you guys to check out their site if you'd like to, just like I usually do. I do recommend them just as usual. Never had a problem with them, so I wouldn't see any reason to go against recommending them. But, uh, yeah, i definitely give them a good check out, give them a good look, see what you think of them. And I really did like this album. I think this was a great debut for Icon. I know their debut mini album, their half album, I believe they called it, was technically their debut. However, this is their first full album, and I was really glad to see it. I think it was well worth every penny. I think it was nice, really nice to see that I got my bias as well. That's pretty awesome to have that happen, especially twice in a row. But I hope you like the unboxing. If you like more, leave a comment, like, subscribe, favorite, whatever you guys would like to do. And I believe that wraps it up. Y'all have a good one. See you next time.